Hey, everybody. Uh, uh, the other day, I was asking everybody if uh, anybody had seen or heard anything from RFB or um, High Impact video. Well, I did. Uh, he put out a video yesterday. RFB did. And uh, it was a good video. Uh, the, the thing that I liked about it is um, he had he, he had been in, I don't know if it was an argument or what it was, but he was, uh, they were going back and forth. Him and the Fullerton informer, um, who this guy talks a lot, a lot about 5G and what it's going to do to us. And I've watched both of them. Um, Richie longer. I've been watching Richie for a few years. But uh, it's always kind of bothered me that them guys were fighting amongst themselves because they were both trying to do the same same thing, you know, wake people up to what's coming. And uh, from what I heard last night on Richie's uh, channel in his video, it sounds good. I mean, it sounds like they're both on the same page now. And that's where I was hoping they would both be because those guys are big channels. They can get a lot of information out, a lot more than I can. And uh, that's what needs to happen right now. Um, you guys, I know there's, there is a lot of people out here right now that they've either got their sleeves pulled, rolled up already their pants down, uh, wherever they're going to give them this vaccine or however way they're going to deliver it. Um, people are ready to line up for it because they think life's going to go back to normal. Folks, it ain't going to happen. They have already said, even with the vaccines, you're looking at five more years with these masks. I mean, I, that could be bullshit. They really could, but let's say another year even with their vaccines. Stuff isn't ever going to go back to what it was before COVID. You can rest assured on that, people. It's not going to go back to that normal. It might resemble it a little bit, but it ain't going to go back to that. There ain't no way. They've dragged it this far and done what they've done up to now. They ain't going back. So, um, you guys just need, I mean, I'm telling you, you, this first vaccine, it might not be nothing more than saline and uh, fairy dust. It might not do nothing to nobody. And they, that might be their plan, you know, put this solution out there, whatever it is, uh, start pumping it into everybody and six months from now say, see, the vaccine hadn't hurt nobody. But is it stopping anything? And I'm sure this is what they're going to say. They're going to say, well, we can't, there's more people being uh, infected than we can even catch up with. There's not enough testing. We can't do enough testing to get to everybody that is infected. Uh, so therefore, um, there's more people being infected than we have vaccines. There's more people being infected than we have vaccine. And we, uh, even if we had the vaccines, we, uh, there's more people being infected every day than we could possibly vaccinate. Cause I think in the United States, we're up to what? A hundred thousand a day now, new cases, hundred thousand, I think 50 to a hundred thousand, somewhere in there, new cases every day. And, uh, People, who, who knows when they're going to bring out the actual vaccine that's going to do the damage. I mean, I, they're really not in a big hurry right now. They they put a ten, uh, this 2030 uh, limit on something. I, I'm sure by then they want to have a lot of us dead, but I don't know if they're going to have knock us down to 500 million by then, but that's the, that is their plan. Um, and I don't believe it's going to be, it's going to look like a pandemic, but just like, uh, even Richie was talking about last night, it's actually going to be the damage that the five G's doing to you. 
It's going to look like you have a virus. It's going to make you choke and cough. It's going to make you feel nauseated because it's cutting off your oxygen, people. It's cutting off the oxygen that you're able to breathe. These people are looking to take away your oxygen. That's why they're, they've been spraying us for years. They're trying to fill the air with something more than oxygen. They're trying to take away the oxygen, people. You got to you, you got to look this stuff up, and that uh, Fullerton Informer, he's got all kinds of information he can give you on this stuff. If you guys will look him up, um, he's got degrees and stuff. If that's what you you're needing in order to believe somebody, he's got the degrees to back him. Uh, he's been fighting city halls and I've seen all kinds of videos where he's been standing up to these people over this 5G stuff man he's serious this stuff's going to kill a bunch of us bunch of us and it's, it's going to look like it's a virus but it ain't and they're going after the children too so people you guys don't give up nothing's over till it's over and when it's over here they're not going to win. They're not going to win. There's no way. Evil is going to win. There's no way. They're going to get their way for a little while, but it ain't going to last. Nothing on earth is forever. Nothing on earth is forever. So, you guys, may God bless us all, because that's the only way we're getting out of this. Have a good day.